Hey guys, it's just a sassy get soaps. So today I'm bringing you on my new fun adventure. This is one of my salty seaside escape summer collection soaps. I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to call the release, but it's a blend of seaside themed soaps and um, the salt, which I got the inspiration from the Brambleberry Salt of the Earth collection, which I'm using. Um, some of their ideas, some of their fragrances. So today, though, is a really fun, exciting soap. I am making a ocean water, seaweed, sea moss inspired soap. So I was watching uh, Corey on Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Love her, by the way. And she made a sea moss soap. And she was talking about sea moss. And she was talking about how sea moss is one of the superfoods. This has 92 of the 101 minerals that we need. And while I know soap is a wash off product, we do take in what's in the soap because our pores are open on our skin. And when we lather up, that lather is what is pulling the dirt and the debris and everything from your skin. So while that's pulling stuff out, there is stuff going in. So while it's a wash off product, it is important that you're using a good quality soap because it is going into your skin, which is going into your body. So this soap is based on healthy things for your skin and it's an all natural soap. I'm using this sea moss, which I got off of Amazon. Let me show you. It's this dried sea moss, Irish sea moss. It's vegan, fair trade, gluten-free, 100% organic, non-GMO. And it comes dry, and I let this hydrate in water for 24 hours. And you know, I should have used the water that it's soaked in as the water portion of my soap, but I am soaping at room temperature, and I master batched my butters and oils in my last solution yesterday. But um, it still has the water. I just soaked it and then I've pureed this. So it has this sea moss in it. I'm also using natural colorants. I'm using spinach power. Spinach power. Yes, it does have power, but it's spinach powder. And then I'm using some Cambrian blue clay. This is the last little bit I have, but blue clay is really, really good. Clays are good for drawing out toxins in your skin. Then I'm using Dead Sea Clay. So again, keeping with the sea theme, but again, the Dead Sea Clay's got lots of minerals and vitamins and helps to pull out impurities and toxins in your skin. So that right here is this. I've mixed these clays with some water. It's best to do that because otherwise they won't disperse properly in your soap mixture. So I've combined all of the Cambrian blue clay, the Dead Sea clay, and the spinach powder in some water, and I've stirred it up and let them soak. I'm going to be adding some sea kelp granules. Granule, I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't talk today, guys. Sea kelp granules. These will provide some extra minerals and vitamins, as well as a little bit of gentle exfoliation. I'm not going to use a lot, but um, I'm going to use these. Then to top it off, I'm going to put a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt for decoration and some of these Sephora flowers. I thought the floral theme, you know, you have lots of really pretty light wispy flowers on the coast. So I thought those would be pretty. And in addition, I'm adding some seaweed extract here from Brambleberry. Not much, just a little bit. This will add just some extra benefits and moisturizing to the soap. And then as always, I have my fresh goat's milk I'm using. And then I'm using an essential oil blend. Um, it's just really nice and light. Um, it's got eucalyptus, peppermint, lime, bergamot, and a titch of lavender essential oil. So this soap is just going to be truly skin loving, full of rich minerals, vitamins, clays, all the good things that come from the ocean. So I don't have a name for it yet. So if you want to comment below or uh, I'll probably post this on Instagram or Facebook, drop a comment and let me know what you think a good name for this soap will be. So like I said, I melted all my butters and oils last night. They did, they're not clear because they solidified, but I have heated this up just a little bit. 
just to make sure everything's fully incorporated. So we've got this. I made my life solution last night. Now this is um, not truly a 50-50. It's like 60% water, 40% the goat milk. Um, I usually do like 50-50 water goat milk, but um, I compensated for the moisture from the sea kelp. So I'm going to strain this because you see it has a little bit of violet, but I also use Tessa silk, so there may be a little bit of silk in there. So it's fresh. I just made it yesterday, but I'm still just going to go ahead and drain it. Got a good bit on the bottom there, so let me get my other spatula and get this. Just to make sure I get it all out. I also use salt and sugar. Sugar is good for added lather. Salt, it's the same thing as if you use sodium lactate. So salt helps harden the soap and helps it easier to unmold. But for me, it's just easier just to go buy the big thing of salt at the store. And I just use one teaspoon per pound of soap. So I thought I dissolved all the soap and sugar really good, but maybe not. So that's all that that is at the bottom of this container. We just want to make sure we get all the lye out of there. So I'm always looking, as you can maybe tell by now if you followed for me a while, I like to do my soaps and seasonal collections and releases. I think it keeps it fun for you guys and fresh. Always something a little bit different. And I always try to offer lots of options. Like I try to always do some sort of unscented bar, some sort of natural soap like this. And then I always like to do the fun um, soaps with the fun fragrance oils and the fun designs. I am bringing back beach bum this year. I know you guys love beach bum. So that will be back this year. And I got some other really good ones, but I'm excited about this sea moss soap. So give this a quick little stir here. Zip it up with the stick blender or about those air bubbles. I guess there's a lot in there. I'm gonna slide this down a little bit. This cord. Oh, there we go. And I want to make sure I get all these good fat molecules from here. Milk fat proteins. So good for your skin. They have natural alpha hydroxies, which help to exfoliate and lots of vitamin D. Goat milk is so good for your skin. trace here. There we go. 
a total clear liquid form again because then I didn't want to have to wait for them to cool back down. So we're going to go ahead and add in the spinach powder and the clays. Get it all in there. To be honest with you guys, I've been soaping for five years now. It's the first time I've ever used spinach powder. I'm excited. super color the soap that wasn't the intention of it um i could be i'm just kind of just going for a natural bar of soap here like i said all right it's getting that trace now so i'm going to add in the seaweed extract the seed kelp and let's just kind of get this Y'all, it smells like the ocean. I mean, it straight up does. I haven't put the essential oils in, but this alone just straight up smells like the ocean. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> straight up just smells nice, briny, salty. Ugh. Good for you. All right, now putting in the essential oil blend. Mm, and this just adds a nice, bright, nice, bright. <laughs> Y'all see the, <laughs> let's try to get these blended in a little more. gonna have to use my spatula here to try to stir this in it's just wanting to sit on top I can tell you I will be snagging a couple of bars of this for myself oh that eucalyptus with the peppermint. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Holy shiitake mushrooms. This container might not quite be big enough. I've been saying I need to upgrade and get some bigger containers. Come on, let's blend in. Be nice. It's Sunday. And it's just absolutely the most perfect, beautiful Carolina spring day. And I had a plan to make five batches of soap today, but it is just way too nice. So I'm only making two just to get started. And we're going to just, I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we are going to get dressed up. Not like dressed up, like church dress up, but dressed and we are going to go out. There's this place called Frankie's Fun Place and they have batting cages and mini golf and go-karts and then an arcade inside and all kinds of stuff and we may go there today go for a long walk on the american tobacco trail who knows we are gonna do something not waste this day all right now last but not least i'm gonna put some of these sea kelp 
granules in here. Here is a teaspoon. That's all we're going to do. Teaspoon. And now it's thick enough that these won't sink to the bottom and be all at the bottom. I always advise people if you're putting things like this, exfoliants, you always try to get to a decent, at least medium trace. Otherwise, your walnut shell powder, your anetto seeds, your sea kelp granules, whatever you put in will probably just go to the bottom. You want it thick enough that it can be suspended in the soap. So I'm going to give this one more quick blend with the stick blender. I think we is good to go. go. Okay, just to make sure everything is, because this is pretty thick. which is fine for this soap but I just wanted to make sure that everything was good and incorporated <laughs> so with, even with all these additives and everything the soap like I said, it's thick, but it's fine because I want it that way to put into the mold and texture. But uh, everything's cooperated really well. Haven't had any issues. So let's get our mold. I'm using the Nurture Soap 5 pound mold today. Let's see if I can get this in without any issues. Oh, yeah, I need to get better. in there. Because it is thick. Lots of nooks and crannies. I'm going to go pound it down. This is what I'm using for a work table. It's just a regular six foot folding table so I don't want to pound too hard. making two loads of soap today too because I don't know what it is but I have carpal tunnel and it's really bothering my right wrist and hand yesterday and today so let's all right I'm gonna go smack it again Sorry, I just saw that shake the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try to make sure I get these all evenly pushed down and dispersed.
get my spoon here. I'm going to texture the top a little bit. Not sure what I'm going to do. I don't want it too much. I want it to definitely still keep kind of rustic. Especially since I'm putting these botanicals and y'all know these end pieces never get looking all pretty. All right, so just to put the stuff on, I'm gonna take my gloves off here. And this is the coarse Himalayan pink sea salt. I got these from Nature's Garden. I'm not really much of a person that puts botanicals and endorses the tops, but I have been lately. I really have been. I just think it looks so pretty and it's super easy to take off if you don't want it on top. Just run it in the bath or the sink or the shower a time or two and just scrape it all off. And this is just salt, so it'll dissolve. Just trying to Fill in the little places that might need an extra piece or two. Now, I've never worked with these flowers. I got them off of Amazon. Because, like I said, I don't use a lot. And I wanted a variety, but I didn't want to spend a fortune on something that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing. So, this is from Deco, Deco Porn. Hmm. It came in a pack with 17 different samples, and it was like $17. So it was a really good price. That it had like over 2,500, you know, stars and reviews, and it was like 4.7 stars or something like that, ridiculously high. So I felt confident ordering from them. And now I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put these. They've got a nice kind of earthy scent. It actually goes really well with the whole thing. Again, I am new to this whole topping with botanicals and salt stuff, and I don't know if this looks good, but I like it. I'm going with it. Get me a little, push them down a little bit. The same with some of the salt here. Slightly tap them down. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call this a day for the sea moss kelp granule, all natural soap. So give it a like on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Sassy Goat Soaps, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.